Hey, this is your boy Robert Bram, uh, the host of Hardcore Politics and uh, Burning a Bus TV. Alright, so I'm at work doing what I do. And somebody gonna ask me who am I voting for in this election? Which is a question you don't want to ask me. And uh, I say I'm I'm burning a bus. You know the deal. Uh, they said, why are you burning a bus? He's still he's out of this thing. First of all, he's not out. Please stop being a dummy. He's still in this. He have not conceded. He has about 1,900 delegates. It's all about delegate count. And we're going to stay in there until the super delegates put their count in. Once the super delegate put their count in and then he lose then, it's official. He lost. The only other choice he has is to run independent. But they're saying, well, uh, who are you going to vote if he's totally out of this thing? Well, I'm an independent. First of all, they're going to say, oh, we need to unite around the party. I don't have a party, and I don't want to be a part of a party. And there's millions of us out here that don't like the party system because all it is is a money laundering scheme to put in office whoever they want in office. I don't play that game. I study politics. So I don't do that. It's a psychological ploy, drum up fear to get a vote. You're not going to drum up fear to get a vote. My vote is going to be with conscience and with education about the people who I'm going to vote for. And I am not, and this is what gets me. You're going to look at me, because if I don't vote for Hillary, it's an automatic giving for Trump. No, dummy, because you voted for Hillary, it's an automatic giving for Trump, because she can't beat him. He only can defeat himself. She can't beat him. He can't really beat her, because both of them are under investigation, criminal investigation. So why would I put my vote in the pocket of two people running for president and both of them under criminal investigation? One for fraud, the other one for SBI, uh, Espionage Act, uh, the Freedom of Information Act, and, um, and a, a host of other things. So no, 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 no. If you vote for somebody that's currently under investigation, then you the dummy, and you're causing this country to experience huge risk by putting possible criminal in the White House, whether it's Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. You guys can hate me. I don't care, because I'm going to have a good conscience knowing that I voted for the right man. And the right man at the time is a man who has no scandals, not tied up in no scandals, and still in this thing until the last vote, like you said. And people say, well, what can happen? Well, plenty. If the indictment comes, then the superdelegates are not going to put their hats in for anybody under criminal investigation. Besides, I've talked to some of the superdelegates, and a lot of them say, hey, I never, um, I changed my allegiance a long time ago, but they won't take me off the road. That shows you our system. So anyway, I am a man of conscience. I'm going to vote for integrity, I'm going to vote for honor, I'm going to vote for character, and I'm going to vote for the man who can do the job. And for you to say, oh, I, I don't think he has it in him. Well, that's what they said about Obama. They said, no experience, I don't think he has it in him. But he's been president for four years. I don't agree with everything he does, but most things I do. So for an experienced person as a community organizer on the street, He's ran that office for four years effectively with Republican opposition. So don't tell me Bernie Sanders can't do it. And don't tell me it's over for him, because it's not. She doesn't have enough delegates. He doesn't have enough get delegates. This is going to con convince him. This is going to be contested. And like I said, I would not vote for somebody who's under criminal investigation. So holla at your boys. If you want to put a criminal in office, that's on you. I ain't signing up for that. And what you get as a result of it is on you because I ain't signing up for that. I'll live in peace, baby. I'm Robert Brown. I'll let you later. Peace.